Mom and I are doing a dinner party today. And we're starting with a tangy appetizer. Buffalo chicken skewers. It's really out of sight. Mm -hmm. Next, it's a dish that's jam-packed with flavor. Sausage and peach stuffed pork chops. Oh, 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 doggies! And then we're serving it along with a side of roasted cauliflower. And then finally, my brownie raspberry trifle's gonna blow y'all away. Knee knocking, back slapping, delicious. <laughs> I love dinner parties. I do too. And one of my favorite things is chicken skewers. So we're gonna be doing a buffalo chicken skewer. It actually looks like a cup of blue cheese that we're just gonna garnish with a little bit of chicken. <laughs> we love our blue cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna cut these chicken tenders into about one inch strips. Okay. Mama, if you would, please get me a third of a cup of that hot sauce. Okay, and this is just a store-bought uh, buffalo sauce. And I'm not gonna worry about a measuring cup because this is actually just a marinade. Yeah, this is different so than So I if... can put what, how much ever I want to. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be working on a dish that Michael's daughter, my stepdaughter Michelle, just loves. She loves, loves, loves a stuffed pork chop. I do too. And this pork chop is stuffed with sausage and peaches. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in. Now, I've got a half a pound of Italian sausage without the casing. And I'm just gonna take my spoon and break it up. Now, I'm gonna put a little olive oil in my pan to just give that something to swim in. You know what I'm saying? Now, Jamie's covering the chicken in plastic and he's gonna let it marinate in the fridge, y'all, for a couple of hours. So we're gonna get a ton of flavor in this chicken. Okay. So how's Jack? None of the fruit falls far from our trees around here. He's <laughs> in the kitchen all the time, and he'll be four this summer. I just about can't keep clothes on him, but when I, he hears me cooking, I'll hear his little feet run off, and he'll be buck naked and show up with his little chef jacket and his cook's hat on, and he loves to be in the kitchen completely naked. He does. I said it's so funny, you know, how strong genetics can be, y'all, because his granny loves slot machines, and of course, I've got slot machines at the house that we play with, and either Jack <laughs> wants to play the slots or cook. I said, this is scaring me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you should be anything but surprised. <laughs> so y'all, I'm gonna chop up a little bit of sage here, and I'm not gonna chop it up too fine, because this is gonna be spilling out of our pork chop. I need a tablespoon yeah. and a half, and then I'm gonna chunk up these two peaches. All right, this is, this is coming along, so I'm gonna go ahead and get it with a little red pepper flakes to just, you know, give it a little bite. I'd love a little bit of pepper is a good flavor. And that's good enough, y'all. I still see some pink in it, but we're gonna be putting these in the oven so that sausage will finish cooking. Now we need only one other thing, Jamie, to go in our stuffing, and that's a cup of Monterey Jack cheese. So I'm gonna start grating this. And Jamie's chopping up two peaches. So I think we've got a cup. This smells so, so good, I love smell good, sausage. Son. All right, you wanna take the sausage and pour it into the bowl and we can add the cheese and I'm gonna make a slit in our pork chops. Now this is probably an inch and a quarter thick and we're using a boneless pork chop. All right, so I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cut us a pocket going right in the center of the pork chop, butterflying it but not going quite that deep. I'm gonna take our cheese into here, Mom. So there we go, just like that. You don't wanna cut your pork chop all the way through, giving you two pieces. Just a nice, nice pocket. Yes, and a little bitty paring knife works well for making these pockets. Mom, you think you could substitute apples for the peaches? Oh gosh, son, you know, no rules. Pork chop, shenapple yes. sauce. <laughs> Was that W.C. Fields? <laughs> Is that who that was? That's actually the Brady Bunch. Oh, the Brady Bunch. That was probably Peter Brady doing W.C. Fields. Okay, son, I've got our pockets done. Okay, I'm gonna turn our pan back on because we're gonna brown these off before we go in the yes. oven, right? Just add a little more olive oil to that pan. All right, so now look at our mixture, y'all. We've got our sausage, 
We've got our peaches. We've got that sage. Beautiful. Uh, we've got the red pepper. So we got a lot going on. You want two extra hands? Yes, please. Here, I'll move over here to this one. I mean, that's right. beautiful, y'all. That is one fat pork Great chop. Day. Look how beautiful these yes. are. I have certainly been greedy with my stuff, and I'm gonna stick a skewer All through right. there. Well, I've got some ready, and they have been soaked in water, y'all, so they won't catch on fire. Great day in the morning. Yes. Look how beautiful that is, so. Gorgeous. What you think about three, four minutes on each side for yeah, these? Yeah, we just want to brown it. Okay. Mama, these look great. They do look great. How are we going to flip them? <laughs> Very carefully. Very carefully, she said. Well, why don't you give it a try? Oh, doggies. Great day. Oh, doggies. That is going to be so good. Michelle Groover, we might have a winner here. We're going to stick these in the oven, and we're going to cover them with a lid so that we can entrap that heat. Okay, Mama. Okay, son, those look fabulous. Let's do it. So we're going to cover those, put them in the oven. We're going to check them in maybe 20 or 25 minutes. But now remember, our oven is on 400 degrees, so we're cooking these kind of high, y'all. Uh, so in the oven it goes. We'll see you back in a minute. Coming up, we're gonna make these buffalo chicken skewers a real showstopper. Wow! <laughs> and then, what time is it, kids? Stuffed um, pork chop time. It's stuffed pork chop time. And later, this dessert will take your breath away. Oh, gosh, Jamie. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back, y'all. We got our chicken tenders and our celery and our little plum tomatoes. And Mama, we got just a few more left yes. to do. Now, Jamie's starting with one each pieces of celery that we cut up, then the chicken, and then the plum tomato. Those are looking good, okay. son. Now, remember, when you're handling fresh poultry, always wash your hands. Okay, Mom, what we're gonna do, y'all, I love cauliflower. It's one of my favorite vegetables. I love cauliflower, too. And I especially love this roasted cauliflower. I'm gonna make a sauce, y'all. And I'm gonna start with about a quarter of a cup of olive oil. And I'm just gonna cut these and I'm kinda gonna leave them in bigger chunks, Mom. And in the meantime, y'all, I am de-leafing a little thyme. If you'll take your stem, y'all, and go pull down from the opposite way it grows, the leaves will come off so much easier. So, Jamie, so, Mama, that is some beautiful cauliflower. This is, I've always loved cauliflower and broccoli. Me too. It's a great veggie. All right, thyme is very tiny anyway, but I'm still going to mince it so that flavor can burst out of it. Now, into this cauliflower, Mom, I'm going to be working with a red pepper, and I'm going to cut it into strips. I'm just going to okay. julienne it. All right, this looks like about a teaspoon of thyme, son, so I'm going to put that into my olive oil. And now I'm going to need about two tablespoons of lemon juice, so I suspect it'll take this whole lemon. Okay, I've got my peppers in. Now, I love leeks. We're going to be working with some leeks today. I love leeks. I do too. Except when they're in the roof, and then I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm sitting here looking at my fingers, and that reminds me. Uh -huh. You know, you put, I, I have so many folks ask me about the thumb ring. Uh -huh. You put it on my finger, gosh, probably been 23, 24 years now that I've been wearing it, which sounds insane. Well, the other day I was going through um, a little chest that I keep my jewelry in, uh -huh. and I ran up on mom and daddy's wedding bands. Oh, no kidding. Yes. So, look, 
I added your granddaddy's wedding ring oh. to my thumb. Look, I can see that like it was yesterday on daddy's finger. Isn't that nice? It, isn't it a beautiful design to it? It does. So I just happened to think about that. When's that from, 42? Let's see, no, I was born in 47. I think mom and daddy were married in 46. In fact, Jamie, I cannot believe it. Today is their anniversary. It's mom and daddy's wedding anniversary. No kidding. They would have been married 64 years. Great day. Unbelievable. We got some quinky dinks going on in this kitchen today. Now, son, let's finish up our cauliflower. The sauce is gonna need a pinch of salt and then about a tablespoon of Dijon. Now, Jamie's just gonna pour this all over our veggies while I get our skewers off the grill. Jamie, these look good, son. Mm-hmm, they smell good. They smell delicious. All right, I've got this kind of tossed up a little bit. Now, Mom, I'm gonna go on our roasting pan with this. I love, love, love roasted vegetables. And there's almost no vegetable that won't roast up just beautifully. Now these are going into our oven, y'all. It's 400 degrees for 35 or 45 minutes. Okay, 35 to 45 minutes. And they're gonna be divine. All right, son, come on up here and show me how you're gonna put our little chicken skewer martinis together. Well, nothing says dinner party like a goblet full of blue cheese. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can have the smaller one. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you can put these out for your guests and, and you'll always be refilling them, so. Look at that, y'all. Almost like a little. Chicken martini. Yeah. Love it in these glasses. Mm -hmm. Well, may I? <laughs> if you don't, I may will. I taste. Oh, gosh. I don't even know if I can get that one out of the blue cheese. It's so deep <laughs> down in there. That tomato. Cheers. Cheers to you, son. Isn't that beautiful? How cute is that, son? Mmm. It has a perfect cocktail. <laughs> You know, mm. we have so much fun. So good, and grilled celery too. Mm. Mm. Out of this world, y'all. That mm. is really out of sight. Mm -hmm. The blue cheese is so good. This is a great starter, but y'all, when we come back, we're gonna check in on our sausage and peach stuffed pork chops. Yes. We've got our vegetables coming out of the oven. We're also gonna get yes. started on one of my favorite things, a Point. raspberry brownie trifle. Mm. Y'all don't go anywhere. I would be delighted to come to your dinner party, darling. Cheers, darling. <laughs> Back at ya. <laughs> Coming up, it's time to get this dinner party started when we dig into wonderful stuff, pork chops. Just the juices from the pork is insane. Then we top it all off with our dessert. Stop what you're doing right now Just, and make this. Mm -hmm. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Guess what time it is, y'all? Ooh. And it ain't howdy doody time. <laughs> you know, when I was a little girl, used to love to watch howdy doody. And, uh, what was his name? Bob, he wore that Indian outfit. He'd Buffalo say, Bob. Buffalo Bob. He'd say, what time is it, kids? Did he How ever say it? Duty time. Stuffed pork chop time. It's stuffed pork chop time. These are great, Mom. Oh, gosh, don't they look good? And the cauliflower has come out of the oven, and that smells delicious. I'm going to go ahead and dip me up a little cauliflower and leeks while Jamie's getting his pork chop. No, I'm doing this for you, Mom. Oh, that's mine. Ladies first. Oh, thank you, son. Love Southern men. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, just a little bit more. <laughs> look Don't the that. peaches look oh. good? Thank you, son. That's gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna dip me up some cauliflower now in those beautiful leeks. Yum. Mm -hmm. I just love my dinner parties with you. Oh my goodness. Just the juices 
from the pork is insane. Mm. My mouth is watering. Mm. It's incredible, son. Did you get a little peach? Mm-hmm. The sweet of the peach with the pork. I made sure I got me a bite of peach and a bite of sausage. Let me sit down. And you can see a little bit of the cheese. Incredible, isn't it? Mm. Oh, love, love, the, love, 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 love the peaches in there, y'all. And it's so juicy, too. It's kind of mild, but there's a little bite at the end. I can feel in the back of my throat that those red pepper flakes just kind of knocking. Mm-hmm. How's the vegetables? Love cauliflower. Mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm, -mm. You know what I'm gonna do, Mama, after we make that dessert? What? I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put this on white bread with a little mayonnaise, it'll be perfect. Hush, son. Let's make some dessert, I will be right you? there with you. Mm. Well, come on down here and, and let me see this dessert that you've got going on. Okay. It's a brownie raspberry trifle. I'm gonna start by putting in one cup of butter plus two tablespoons. Now we're putting this in a double boiler, y'all, and while Mama's doing that, I'm gonna put three ounces of unsweetened dark chocolate in with okay. this butter, y'all. Okay. And we're gonna melt it down. Now we gotta stir this. We don't want it to burn. If you decide to do this in the microwave, y'all, be very, very careful, because chocolate will scorch easily, and, and once, once it's it scorches, scorched, it's trash. trash can. All right, I'm gonna put a pinch of salt. So I'm gonna be cracking your eggs and getting those ready for you. There's not a whole lot to do, y'all, on this recipe, so you gotta like that. We're gonna bake this in an eight and a half by eight and a half dish, and I'm gonna spray it real good so those delicious brownies will come out clean. So I've got your pan ready, I've got your eggs whipped. We could just about skip steps three, four, five, and six, couldn't we? What? And bring in another straw. <laughs> just get a, <laughs> just get a mug. <laughs> so transferring this from our cooking bowl, mm -hmm. you want to help me scrape this, yes, Mom? Yes, I will be your scraper. Into this clean bowl is going to help drop the temperature a little okay. bit. And then by the time we mix in our other ingredients, it'll be cool enough probably okay. for our eggs. Great. All right, so I owe you two and a half cups of sugar. Half a cup of cocoa. I owe you one more tablespoonful. Mm, mm, mm. And finally, a heaping tablespoon of vanilla and our three beaten eggs. Wow. You Do gotta that, love it. And you need one and a half cups of self rising flour. See how simple mm. that is? No mixer. Yep. But some bad to the bone brownies. Looks great, son. Super. Okay, Mom, you want to use teamwork? Yes. I'll lift this up. Yeah, you hold the bowl and I'll scrape, because guess what? What? The scraper gets, gets, gets the, the spatula. <laughs> <laughs> this batter is delicious, Jamie. Mm-hmm. Now this is going into the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. This is our brownie, but this is a raspberry brownie trifle. So y'all stick mm. around when we come back. We're gonna get into the raspberry business. Coming up, we're gonna show you how to build this mouth-watering dessert. This dessert is fantabulous. Oh my goodness. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I'm glad y'all came back because our brownies are done now. I'm gonna make a topping for Jamie's luscious brownies. I'm gonna need three cups of heavy cream. And I'm gonna slice a banana. Now three tablespoons of an instant vanilla pudding. That's gonna help this get nice and stiff. And give it some good flavor too. And I'm gonna give it one tablespoon of powdered sugar and that's kind of a heaping. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of vanilla flavoring. All right, now I'm gonna beat this up, son, until it's nice and peaky. Okay, Mom, I'm gonna cut these brownies. I'm gonna do them in kind of small bites so we can work in our jars. Looks delicious. I'd say that's pert near perfect. Y'all are gonna love 
these moist, chewy brownies. Oh, gosh, Jamie. And the <gasps> first one's kind of hard to get out without making a mess out of it. Oh, my gosh. See that chewy mm -hmm. center? How delicious incredible, is that? Incredible, son. Uh -huh. Good. In stinking incredible. This is probably my favorite brownie just because I like them chewy. Oh, my gosh. And it's so moist like a cake. It's scrumptious. All right, I'm gonna take our little mason jars. I'm gonna start by dropping in three squares of the brownies. Now I'm just gonna scoop a little of that wonderful raspberry jam over that. Gonna put me a little layer of bananas. Yum. And I'm gonna top it with more cream. I cannot impress upon y'all enough how this is the best brownie you ever tasted. It, it, it is, y'all. It's quite, quite good. I'm gonna take the edge. Take the edge, mama. Uh-huh. I'm just gonna take the edge and just do this number. Oh. Just to kind of let you know what's in there, sonny boy. A little slice of banana. This dessert is fantabulous. Oh my goodness. Look at that. When y'all are done, if you can't finish it because you're eating yeah, so many stuff, pork chops. Seal it back up. Screw your top on, send it home with your company. <laughs> yes. But you ain't gonna have leftovers of this. I'm telling you, Jamie. Incredible. Stop what you're doing right now Just, and make this. Mm -hmm. I kid you not. This is knee knocking, back slapping, delicious. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.